Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. Simply restart Steam. So you can go to Steam, close Steam, and then you can launch Steam once again and then check. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties. In the launch option over here, type in dash DX11. And then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. This time you can type in dash D3 D11. And then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can even try dash DX12. And then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can remove this and then follow the next step. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card user first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver then restart your computer and then go to AMD website, select your graphic card, install the latest driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then go to graphics settings. Click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, in my case, the game is installed in this location. So go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here now click on the game and then over here select high performance again click on add desktop app and then open alabama folder binaries win64 and then select this exe file click on add and then again scroll down and once you find the game click on the game and then select high performance nvidia or amd and then you can launch the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. Now open Alabama folder, binaries, win64, select this exe file, make a right click and then you can first of all, just make a double click, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, go to properties, make a right click and then go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, again, this time over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check, still not working. This time you can put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, then um, this time you can over here, uh, select Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check, still not working. So when you put a check on these boxes, still not working, then you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 windows 10 click on update and security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browser apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open 
and then again click on add and allowed app browser apps this time open this folder binary is win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add once the game is added over here now uh, you can launch the game and then you can check now the next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check now the next step is to delete the config folder you will lose all the saved settings to delete the config folder you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder local folder and then open alabama folder now open saved folder here you can see config folder you can simply make a right click and delete this folder or you can go back and then you can delete this complete alabama folder delete it and once it is deleted now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work rename or delete the save game files but when you do so you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can open file explorer open this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open save games folder and over here you will see the game folder you can this has the save game files now if you want you can create a backup so you can copy this folder and if you you can just create a backup you can just paste it to the desktop once you have a backup you can just rename this folder to dot old or you can simply delete this folder and then you can launch the game and then check you will lose all the game progress though now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download this x86 and x64 so download this x86 and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button click on install click on yes to allow and download this x64 download this and again run this exe file now again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button click on install in my case it is already installed it's telling me to restart my computer so please ignore this once both are installed then restart your computer restart is a must after this restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check next step is to restore automatic twinning and in, in nvidia app so if you're using nvidia app in that case you can open this nvidia app and then you can go to system and then go to performance now over here you can see automatic tuning so if restore option is highlighted over here click on restore once the restore is complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to now this is for amd users you can install this this amd optional update so you can go to like amd website you can just in google you can type in op this optional update and then go to amd website and then scroll down over here you can see this update 25.1.1 optional update once the download is complete you can just run this exe file and install it then restart your computer and then you can launch the game now the next step is to close all the overclocking application like if you have if you're running this msi after bundler or if you're running this Reva tuner on your computer, make sure that you close all these overclocking applications. So if you have this running, you can just make a right click, close MSI after runner, close Reva tuner, or you can simply close all the overlock, overclocking applications. So if you have any other overclocking application running, close it. 
Also remove the undervolt if you have undervolted your computer. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on this game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also if you have any other overlay application running like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have GeForce Experience or Nvidia app running, you can just turn off um, overlay in Nvidia app. So go to settings if you have this Nvidia overlay running on you can turn this off or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game also if you have any razor application like any razor peripheral software uh, running you can close it also disable emd fluid motion frames to in adrenaline app i don't have emd uh, graphic card so you can open the adrenaline AMD app and then go to graphics option if you have this AMD fluid motion frames 2 uh, enabled you can disable this and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to try automatic manage paging file now for this you can just type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab over here click on change over here and then put a check on the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives put a check over here and then click on ok apply ok apply ok and then restart you can be and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case again type in view advanced system settings click on the first settings advance change this time uncheck this box and then select your drive where the game is installed and then select the option which says system managed size and then click on set then click on ok it will be asking you to restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer so click on restart now and after the system restart launch the game still not working you can increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this 
Now the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure your the, in case of laptop, make sure AC adapter is connected, the charger is connected when you update the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings, go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. So make sure that your Windows is up to date, like you can check it in by running winbar command. Make sure the version is 2.4 H2. So install the latest Windows update and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have quotas, wheel, pedals, or any kind of additional USB adapter which you're not using, disconnect, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitors. So try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can simply uninstall the game. Now after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to any external drive, D drive, E drive, F drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.